Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you may be watching this. It is Del, Delphine. My friends call me Del, and you can too. <laughs> and I'm going to make some pizza spaghetti. Easy pizza spaghetti. Or as one of my friends likes to say, pizza spaghetti. Uh, I would like to give a shout out to my Facebook friends. I would like to give a shout out to any friends who are out there. Any friends. There's those damn dirt bikes. Uh, nothing but dirt bikes in the summer. And I, you know, I don't mind kids riding a, or adults, whomever riding the dirt bikes, but it's just, it's, it's nonstop. But anyway... Uh, <laughs> as I was saying, shout out to all friends, any friends and family who may be watching. Shout out to those of you who are going through something. Shout out to those of you who may be sick, trying to recover. Uh, shout out to anybody out there who <laughs> just needs a shout out. This one is for you. But like I said, I'm going to make this pizza spaghetti uh, and I have some 70% less fat turkey pepperoni. I, when I used to make this for friends, I would be using, you know, just regular pepperoni. These days I'm trying to do something a little bit healthier, so I'm using the turkey pepperoni. Uh, I have some spaghetti that I made three days ago. And it is made with ground turkey and ground turkey sausage. Um, and it has a little, you know, just some jarred sauce in it. And I didn't make it like I usually do. I actually have a vlog that's coming up for spaghetti where I use, you know, like green pepper and onion and saute it and all that. But like how people usually make spaghetti. This spaghetti, I just kind of made a basic spaghetti because I'm going to be layering it. And making the pizza spaghetti. So all I wanted to do was just make a basic spaghetti to layer. Because I knew I was going to be making this pizza spaghetti. Um, but that's all that has in it. So I seasoned the ground turkey and the ground sausage um, with a little onion soup mix. You don't have to do that at all. You could just use seasoned salt and make the spaghetti. Like I said, a basic spaghetti. Not how I usually make spaghetti. Um, because I know I'm going to be, you know, adding this pepperoni and sausage to it. So ground turkey and ground turkey sausage in there. I don't really use, I haven't used ground beef in to make meatloaf, meatballs, anything in decades. Um, so if you, you know, if you usually use ground beef, hey, use that. Ground chicken, whatever you use. I have some lower sodium sauce that I've been using. This sauce right here is just regular sauce. But to layer, I'm going to be using a lower sodium sauce. I've got some Italian seasoning, some oregano. I thought I had gotten, um, uh, you know, crushed, regular crushed oregano. But this is ground oregano. But hey, it's going to work regardless. I had some mozzarella cheese. I have a little bit of sharp cheese left. Use whatever kind of cheese you like. And I have some breadsticks back that I'm going to heat up. I probably, for the vegetable, I'm going to have... Probably heat up a can of green beans, no salt green beans, like French green beans um, or mixed vegetables or something because I've been having a lot of garden salad lately and I'm kind of tired of garden salad. But a garden salad or any kind of salad, you know, green leafy salad would go perfect with this. Um, this is going to be so easy because all I'm doing is layering the pasta with sauce and cheese and then topping it with the pepperoni. And if you wanted to layer pepperoni throughout, you could do that too. I'm just putting pepperoni on the top. Um, you can use any kind of cheese or combination of cheese you want. This is something that, you know, I usually will make it for a friend of mine will request piece of spaghetti and then I will take some out and have it for myself and, you know, give the rest away. Um, or I'll just make this for somebody and give them a, a, pan, a big pan of it. But, you know, pasta is something that I try not to eat a lot of nowadays as a diabetic. So, um, but yeah, I'm going to make this pizza spaghetti today. 
and it's gonna be so quick and so easy uh, let me set to it let me say I want to thank anyone who likes shares subscribes and hits the notification notification button to enable uh, you to be uh, notified when my vids post so thank you for your support thanks for words of encouragement let me set to making this pizza spaghetti all right i'm back and ready to make this pizza spaghetti i usually will use like an aluminum pan uh, i want to do something different this time so you know this usually would go like in a square pan i'm just spraying this with some non-stick cooking spray uh, but i'm not using a square pan this time you know i don't know i'm putting it in this crock pot this little crock pot pan of mine and what I'm going to do is take a layer of the spaghetti spaghetti <laughs> and you can do as many layers of this pizza spaghetti as you would like I think I'm going to be doing maybe two layers but you can get you know three layers four layers I'm doing two layers so a little more and just make sure it's kind of you know even as even as you can get it so that's the first layer which actually is going to be the second layer once I top the first layer and I'm going to get some of that sauce. If you like, you know, um, kind of a dry, mostly cheesy pizza, you don't like a lot of sauce on your pizza, then you can omit this step. But I like it to be kind of saucy, this pasta dish to be saucy. So I add another, like, of course, there's already some sauce in the spaghetti. But I like to add a layer of sauce. You know, as much sauce or as little sauce as you like. And I'm going to add some of the cheese. Mozzarella cheese. And you know what? I think... I was only going to do pepperoni on the top, but I think I'm going to do pepperoni layered. I think I'm going to layer that pepperoni in between as well. I'm not going to just put it, you know, only on top. So, I'm layering turkey, pepperoni. If you use regular pepperoni, hey, use that. And I think they have a chicken pepperoni too. I'm not sure, but whatever kind of pepperoni suits you and your family or whomever is eating, do it. So, that's good. There's one layer of the pepperoni and I think I'm going to do a little of the sharp as well so another layer of spaghetti try to come in closer but there let's see closer for you there we go so another layer of the spaghetti is going in I'd like you guys to be close up on the action I try to kind of do these like how someone would do a porn movie 
you know, you like to uh, get <laughs> close up on all the action. I know that <laughs> when I'm watching, you know, certain movies, I like to see things, you know, close up and juicy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just, that's me. Hey. Uh, all right, so there's that another layer, and that's all. That's all of this spaghetti. Like I said, if you would like to do three layers, knock yourself out, but I'm only doing two layers, and I'm going to kind of like smooth it, and I'm going to add some more of that jarred sauce. And I'm just going to smooth, smooth the sauce. You don't have to go crazy with sauce, but you want it to be, you want some sauce because you want this to be kind of moist. <laughs> you want it to be moist and not dry. There's nothing worse than dry spaghetti. Dry, regular dry spaghetti is not cool. Anything that's too dry is not cool uh, that you're eating. Um, I'm gonna leave that alone. And anyway, let me do what I'm supposed to be doing and, and get my get my mind right. Um, so that should be enough sauce. Let's see, do I want a little bit more? Two more tablespoons and that's good. So, I'm going to layer my cheese and my pepperoni again. So I do have some sh some shaved parm, uh, but I'm saving that to do you know to top when I this is actually baked and ready. But if you wanted to add shaved parm, if you wanted cheddar, just regular cheddar, mild cheddar. Sharp cheddar, um, provolone, oh my gosh, provolone cheese, which I don't have any right now. That'd be perfect with this. But whatever cheese you have on hand, customize this, makes this your own. If you are someone who loves um, mushrooms, green pepper, red pepper, onions, and stuff like that on your pizza, feel free to top your pizza or layer those ingredients in between your, you know, put it in your pizza, in your uh, pizza spaghetti. So make this your own. Do what you feel. This is just how I, you know, do mine. Whatever toppings you like and your spaghetti. And I'm just going to layer some more of that pepperoni. So... And I'm so used to regular pepperoni. Um, like I said, ground turkey is something that I've been buying for <laughs> decades. But I, I'm now just now starting to do, and turkey bacon, of course, is something I've been eating for decades now. Turkey sauce is just something that I've been eating for decades now. But this is my first time actually doing like a turkey pepperoni. So... Smells really good. <laughs> so that's almost done. Let's get one more. Let's do one more um, pepperoni in the corner. All right, so that's good to go. Um, I'm going to 
going to get some of that oregano. And I actually meant to layer some of the oregano and Italian seasoning. Um, I have an Italian seasoning that's already open. So use that. So sprinkle Italian seasoning generously. And I've got a little of that sharp cheddar that's left. I'm going to sprinkle some of that at the top. Not a lot, because I don't even have a lot of this left. Um, so that's it for my sharp chatter. Um, and I'm going to take a little teeny bit more. This was a 16 ounce bag of mozzarella. So I've used almost all of it, you might as well say. And I'm going to put just a little bit of that on top of the pepperoni. Hell, I might as well use all this, to, any little corner that's left, I'm gonna eat it, snack on it. It's just a little corner left. But you'll wind up using this whole bag. And I'm just gonna take some nonstick cooking spray. Spray the top. I'm good to go. Um, if you have any fresh oregano, fresh herbs, that would be beautiful with this as well. Uh, I'm going to preheat my oven to 375 because I'm not cooking. I'm not cooking this per se because the spaghetti is already done. And another thing, when you make your spaghetti for this recipe, Make your spaghetti al dente, which means that your spaghetti is going to be not like really hard, but soft. So make it al dente. And this is ready for my oven, three, um, 350, 375. And I'm going to do about 25 minutes on um, 375. I might do 350. Um, 350. And I'm going to do about 25 to 30 minutes on 350. So I'm going to preheat my oven now, but this is ready for my oven. So. All right, y'all. So my oven is preheated to 350 and I decided I know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I'm going to do 25 um, to 30 minutes on uh, 25 minutes on 350. And then I'm going to do 375 and do like the final 10 minutes um, and get a little crust on the top. And I might even have to broil it to get the crust on the top. I don't know. But this is getting ready to go into my oven, a 350 for 25 minutes. And then I'm going to crank it up to 375 or 400 and do um, 10 minutes on, probably on 400. But all I'm doing is I sprinkled a little bit of that ground oregano uh, on top. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit more of the Italian season just a light sprinkle and my piece of spaghetti is ready for my oven it already looks delicious doesn't it all right family um that's 25 minutes on 350 uncovered so i'm going to crank the heat up to 400, not 375, I'm gonna crank it up to 400. And I'm gonna do um, 10 minutes, 15 minutes on 400 degrees. 15 minutes, 400 degrees. I always do that with my oven. <laughs> 15 minutes on 400 and um, it's 
it should be good to go. If it's not brown on top totally the way I want it, I might broil it for a couple minutes after that. But it's going to be done after this 15 minutes on 400 degrees. All right, that pizza spaghetti is out of the oven. It's nice and cheesy. Look at that pepperoni. Look at that cheese. I can't wait to put the spoon in it so you can see how it looks through and through, but I'm going to let it cool off for about 15 minutes. It smells amazing. It smells just like a pizza. Look at that. <laughs> it smells just like a pizza in here. And it smells so delicious. Um, when I, I think I said make sure your spaghetti is al dente when you make this. And I think I said soft. And of course al dente means firm. So <laughs> I think I put a little note to correct that. But um, make sure your spaghetti is not soft before you make this. Make sure it's al dente so that it's not hard but that it's still firm. Because you're going to bake it and you don't want totally squishy. You know, some people like their spaghetti very, very soft. For this, you don't want your spaghetti really super soft before you bake it in the oven or it'll be just like too squishy. So, yeah, make sure your spaghetti is al dente before when you're making this. All right, I'm going to let this cool off about 15 minutes. Um, I did broil this on the top for about like three minutes. So... delicious <laughs> so it is time to eat dinner um, I have that piece of spaghetti I got some crusty bread loaves I'm ready for butter and to be cut um, I think up a little bit of like French green beans because I was like I said I'm tired of eating salad but this goes best with like a green leafy salad um, but I want to show you guys how it looks on the inside when you cut into it. Look at that, like a, almost like a lasagna, you see? And I'm gonna have it on my plate eating it so you'll see it too, but delicious. Um, time to eat. Thank you. 